Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be doing a review on the new e.l.f. putty blushes. Now these were released in the US a while back but they have only just recently come to Australia so you can pick them up from the e.l.f. website or they are available at Kmart online and in store. There are only four shades available here which is like kind of annoying but we get what we get and they retail for $14 each. Now, even though they are called a putty blush, they are just a cream formula. I think that might be a little bit misleading to some people. They expect something a little bit different, but all in all, it's just a cream blush. It is described to be hydrating, lightweight, and buildable, and it has a semi-matte finish. Now, I picked up two shades from the range. First is Turks and Caicos, which is a bit more of a peachy orange. And then I also have Bora Bora, which in the pan or in the pot looks like quite a bright pink, but this is the shade I actually prefer to wear. Something a little bit annoying about the packaging, I'm just gonna get real nitpicky here, is that the title of the shade is on the side here on a tiny little sticker. Like, you know, usually the shade's on the bottom and you're just like, oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This one, you gotta be like, oh. <laughs> But anyway, I'll insert a clip now of me applying the shade Bora Bora. As you can see, I like to use this brush by Real Techniques. It's the sculpting brush. This just has nice, tightly packed, dense bristles. I found that this brush worked best when applying. I did try it with my Sigma F53 Air Contour and Blush brush, which is this one just here. This brush I love for cream and liquid blushes, but I found it moved the product underneath. And so when I used a more dense brush, it didn't move the product underneath. Now I do find these blushes have a good amount of pigment. It's not so little that you're like, where the hell is the color? And it's not too much that you're like, holy hell, what have I just done? It's the perfect amount of pigment and they're definitely buildable. So I do like to dip in a few times and layer up the product to get the desired amount I'm after. I do agree with the claim that it has a semi-matte finish. I find it's quite the perfect cream texture. It doesn't look too dry on the skin. It just leaves that nice natural glow that you get from a cream product. I find that going over the top with a cream highlighter adds to that beautiful natural finish. So today I've put on the Rimmel Glow Stick and I just think that the glow stick combined with the blush just leaves a really beautiful sheen to the skin. I have been testing these blushes out for about two weeks now and I think they have a really good wear time. I can go a whole shift at work and I can still see the color at the end of the day. As I said earlier, I do prefer the shade Bora Bora. I found that Turks and Caicos, even though I really love the look of it in the pot, it was just a bit too natural of a color for my liking. I do like my blush to pop. I feel as though it really adds some life back into my super fair skin. And this shade was just a little bit too, like it wasn't as bold as I liked. So if you prefer just a little touch of blush, this will probably be a really nice option for you. Well, overall, if you are looking for a new cream blush or you just want to try a cream blush for the first time, I think that these are really nice and you're definitely getting good value for money. I actually found that the shade Bora Bora was quite similar to my Fenty cream blush in the shade Strawberry Drip. Now, these look kind of gross close up because they've got like brush fur in them. But let's just take a look at the shades, okay? I think that the Fenty has a very similar finish to the e.l.f. blush. So if you don't want to spend the money on Fenty, definitely hit up e.l.f. Mm -hmm. Well, that is all for today's video. Just a quick little review on the e.l.f. putty blushes. I definitely recommend them and think that they are a good buy. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you've tried this blush, what do you think? Is it something that you want to purchase? I really hope that we get more of the shades here in Australia soon. That would be very nice to see. If you want to see more product reviews from me, I will link some down below. I love trying out drugstore makeup, so if you do too, this is the place for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.